ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਟੀਵੀ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਹੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਟਾਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਅਵਨੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਤੇਜਾ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ 22 ਅਕਤੂਬਰ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਊਨਿਸਪਲ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੋਣ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਉਮੀਦਵਾਰਾਂ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਵੋਟਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਹੱਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਭਗਤਾਉਣ ਲਈ ਠੋਸ ਉਪਰਾਲੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਇਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਮੀਟਿੰਗਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਿਲਸਿਲਾ ਲਗਾਤਾਰ ਜਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਦਾ ਸਿਲਸਿਲਾ ਲਗਾਤਾਰ ਜਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਕੀ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਨੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਉਹ ਨੁਮਾਇੰਦੇ ਮਿਲ ਸਕਣਗੇ ਇਸ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਮੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਿਕਿਉਰਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਨੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਡਰੱਗਸ ਦੇ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਨੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਏ ਦਿਨ ਗੋਲੀਬਾਰੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਰਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਫਾਇਰਿੰਗ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਰਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਸਭ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਵਾਬ ਦੇਣ ਲਈ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਵਾਰਡ 1 ਅਤੇ 5 ਤੋਂ ਸਿਟੀ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰ ਤੇ ਰੀਜਨਲ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰ ਵੱਜੋਂ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਲੜ ਰਹੇ ਪੌਲ ਬਿਸੈਂਟੇ ਤੇ ਰੋਵਾਇਨਾ ਸੈਂਟੋਸ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਨੇ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਵੇਟ ਸਿਟੀ ਵੀ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਓ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਓਕੇ ਪੌਲ ਐਂਡ ਰੋਵਾਇਨਾ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਬੋਥ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਬਿਕਮ ਦਾ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਟਿਵ ਇਨ ਵਾਰਡ 1 ਐਂਡ 5 So what made you decide to run for the office? Well, in 2014, I had the opportunity to run to be the regional councilor and uh, I came very close, only uh, fell short a few votes. And so people who voted for me in 2014 asked that I should remain active in the community and continue to work on behalf of the residents of Brampton. And so for us this is a, a very uh, unique opportunity. We only have elections every 4 years and we want to do good things for the city of Brampton. Yeah, so for the past 4 years since 2014 what we saw was the community coming together, you know, with different organizations wanting to be engaged in the city of Brampton and wanting to understand what was happening in our city. And when I was watching all this, I got actively engaged with Paul Vicente through Brampton Focus, Neighborhood Watch Brampton, as well as Stand Up for Brampton. And when the residents were talking to us, they were saying we want change like why isn't anything getting done in the city of brampton and why you know where is the lrt where is transit where is why is there so much congestion and so because i've been involved in politics for a long time and also worked in the private sector and the nonprofit sector i decided that now is the time to stand up for Brampton and Paul and I have been working together for the past 4 years um and now more recently knocking on doors talking to voters at their doorsteps because that is what they've been wanting for a really long time. Yeah, people here in the city they really yearn to connect with the decision makers. And so for us it's been an important aspect of what we've been doing not just now because we're in an election, but for the past 4 or 5 years. And so we're very very pleased to be standing uh to run for office in wards 1 and 5 and uh we hope that we can be successful to make Brampton a better city, a city with a better future. Especially for our kids. Yeah. Um I have a son of my own and Paul has a family as well. And when I grew up in Brampton, Bouvard was a dirt road and now I'm raising my son here. And we want to all build a brighter future for our children so that they can live here, they can work here, that they can have a good life. And and you know just to add one final note is that the city of Brampton has so many things that are already so good and so we just want to continue to work and make it a better city. Paul te Rovena ne jive dassya ke oh kyon ikatthe kam karde a election jehdi lad rahe a ede vich bahut sariyan samasyaavan jehdiyan ohna nu mehsoos hoyiyan ne pichle 4 saal to team de taur te oh kam kar rahe a ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਜੋ ਹੁਣ ਤੱਕ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਮੱਸਿਆਵਾਂ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਹੱਲ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਰਵੇਨਾ ਨੇ ਆਖਿਆ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਬੇਟਾ ਤੇ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਹੈ ਪੌਲ ਦੀ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਦੋਂ ਦੋਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਦੂਜੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਵਾਸੀ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੋਕ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੋ ਚਿੰਤਾ ਉਹ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਇਸ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੇ ਉਹ ਜਿੱਤਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਮੱਸਿਆਵਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਹਿਲ ਦੇ ਆਧਾਰ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਹੱਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ all and our when uh, you say you are working together as a team uh, why is the important for the resident of brampton in ward 1 and 5 what do you see to the uh, benefits of working together in the election well you know um as we've been engaging the residents in our city we've been hearing their frustration around the city councilors not working together as a team it's part of the reason why um we didn't get the LRT to the downtown of Brampton right they weren't working together
Yeah, the past four years, it's been difficult to watch sometimes, even within wards, members of council not getting along with one another. And so by working together now, we are demonstrating and committing to the people of this city that in wards one and five, you're going to have people that are of like mind, that are working together to listen to you and to engage with you on a regular basis and then make decisions and act on your behalf. And so Rowen and I, uh, we are now uh, looking to always uh, make sure that in wards one and five, we have one cohesive voice, which is yours. And so that's why it's important even now for us to be demonstrating that. Mm -hmm. And if we, you know, uh, are elected and we have the privilege of being elected, on council, it's important for your regional councillor and your city councillor to work as a team. So, for example, if one of us votes one way and the other one votes the other way, we neutralize the representation in that area. So by us consistently listening to the residents together, literally together when we go door to door, we hear the same thing from the community. So do you think that uh, setting council didn't work as a team? So what do you think? About well, on many issues, uh, there are many examples where the city councillor in a particular ward and the regional councillor in that same ward they would uh, vote in opposite uh, intentions and so they would always be at odds with one another. Uh, we saw other examples where uh, they simply had no desire to work together and I think that that's unfortunate and uh, you know relationships sometimes even in an organization can be complex but you have to come to uh, the position of a representation with a goal to always move that puck forward. You got to always make sure that even when there are disagreements, perhaps you don't always agree on every single issue, you continue to advocate and to work for the people of the city because it is their voice that you are representing. And so within a ward system as we have here in Brampton where wards one and five is together, we have to always be voting and representing the interests of our residents, not Cancelling each other mm -hmm. out, as Rowena mentioned. Just now, I know that Paul and Teru. I mean, that a team that our team can't work hard. I know just now, that that the current Mojuda Council is that a team can't work hard. That is why the city that the work should be done is not going to happen. That is why the city council, the regional council, is meeting to work hard. The council is meeting to work hard. The share that the cost is more than the other thing. That is why Brampton is a city that is growing. About six lakh to six lakh. जड़ी आबादी ऐते पढ़े तेजी नाल विकसित हो रहा ब्रैम्पटन शहर है ते इधे वास्ते उसे इंसार जिन्हें लोड़ा मीने उसे इंसार जड़े जनता दे चुने हुए प्रतिनिधि ने उन्हें उस तरह काम करने लोड़ा तो उधे वास्ते वो टीम बांट के जो काम नहीं कर देता वो काम सिरे नहीं चढ़ सकता You plan to speak regularly uh, with the residents. In the past, both of you have organized town hall meetings. Uh, explain to our views why. Uh, this is important to you and what difference uh, it make if you are elected. Town hall meetings, in our opinion, are the cornerstone of how democratic processes should be followed. Uh, in any situation, you find questions that are presented to elected officials. And unless you are consulting with your constituents, it would be very difficult for you to always vote correctly. And so it's important for us. and. Uh, for the process to move forward accurately to ensure that we are talking to the residents and asking them what is your view on this particular issue how would you like me to vote on your behalf when this issue comes up for a voting council and also town hall meetings serve another purpose in that they are a way of finding out even within Wards 1 and 5, you have communities within Wards 1 and 5, and they have unique needs. They have unique issues. And so only by regularly hosting town halls can you engage with residents, give them an opportunity to voice their concerns. And also, if you make mistakes, it provides a way for us to be accountable. How many times have we seen politicians make decisions and people have no recourse? With mm -hmm. a town hall, they can come to the next town hall meeting and express what they think about what we've did. And that may lead to better government. It leads to better decisions, decisions that are made as close as possible to the people that those decisions will be affecting. And you know, 
This comes back to engaging the community in Brampton. Over the past many years, we have been very committed to engaging the residents, whether that's at their doorsteps or in the format of town hall meetings. Town hall meetings is just another example of that. Um, in July, we had, when we were knocking on doors in July, we heard uh, the big concern around crime and safety in our neighborhoods. And so in July, we hosted a town hall. Um, on crime and community safety. And most recently, as of last night, we had a town hall on auto insurance because these are issues that keep coming up that people really want to urgently address. And so we're happy to announce uh, that on Monday, October the 29th, after the election, because people also have missed the first town hall on crime, we are having another one on crime on October the 29th. Regardless of the outcome of the election, Paul and I are committed to engaging the community on this important matter. Okay, okay. Just then, the second, a milky jewel town hall meetings, Cardia, the Maxad King, that could look at the cold, Joe Locania problems, I guess, Massiamani. ਉਹ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਜੇ ਉਹ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਣਗੀਆਂ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਗਲਤੀ ਵੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਚੁਣਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਨੁਮਾਇੰਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਗਲਤੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਠੀਕ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਲੋਕ ਆਪਣੀ ਸ਼ਿਕਾਇਤ ਆਪਣੀ ਸਮੱਸਿਆ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੱਕ ਉਸ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹੁੰਚਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਵੇਲਾ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਇੱਕ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਦਾ ਮਿਲਦੇ ਆ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਟਾਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਨੇ ਵਾਰਡ 1 ਅਤੇ 5 ਤੋਂ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਵਾਰਡ 1 ਤੇ 5 ਤੋਂ ਸਿਟੀ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰ ਤੇ ਰੀਜਨਲ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰ ਦੀ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਲੜ ਰਹੇ ਪਾਲ ਵਿਸੈਂਟੇ ਤੇ ਰੋਵੈਨਾ ਸੈਂਟੋਸ ਫਾਰ ਮੈਨੀ ਇਅਰਸ ਪਾਲ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਸੀਨ ਵਾਈਲੀ ਐਜ਼ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਟਰਬਲ ਵਿਦ ਇਟਸ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਨਾਟ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਵੀ ਸਾ ਥਿਸ ਔਨ ਮੈਨੀ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ including with the lrt decision yes uh, there was a major dividing divide among the councillors how will it be different if you are elected well you know the lrt decision is just one example of uh, the dysfunction that existed on council for the past four years and um, because councillors weren't able to work together to work through the problem we lost out on over 200 million dollars in provincial investment that would have benefited the residents of the entire city of Brampton. We can't let that happen anymore. Uh, Brampton is really at the crossroads. It needs to decide whether it wants to continue to just be a suburb northwest of Toronto or if it can be a great city in its own right, connected to its neighbors, well served by transit, serving its people having the jobs that they need so that they can lead prosperous lives. And so it is very important as we go forward and that is why this election is so important that the people of this city elect representatives and leaders that are committed to get through the problems that we have in this city, the challenges that exist, the decisions that need to be made. And so we are committed 100% to make sure that as we approach every single question and every single problem that we will not let personal disputes or differences of opinion to interfere with our ability to represent and make decisions on behalf of our residents we cannot go through another 4 years of dysfunction at Brampton City Hall mm -hmm. in my opinion you know opinion. that uh, LRT vote was a huge opportunity cost to us we forfeited hundreds of millions of dollars we we let go of possible local jobs here in Brampton and we put we we moved our city backwards and in a standstill for a certain extent um you know with Ryerson coming to downtown Brampton now that is in hindsight another example of a huge mistake of that decision and when we talk to residents about this particular issue we see that Brampton is at a tipping point you know we are no longer a small town we are a big city and it's time for us to behave like a team and actually make those big decisions for the city to move forward absolutely yes bilkul lrt de mudde te jis tarah inna ne aakhya ke jive je milke kam kita hunda us team ne council ne milke kam kita hunda te brampton nu jo inni vaddi madad milni si dollars de vich oh jehdi madad aarthik madad jehdi oh nahi mil saki kyunki milke kam 
ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੋ ਰਵੇਨ ਐਂਡ ਪੌਲ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਵਿਚ ਹੈਸ ਬੀਨ ਐਨ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਇਨ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਵਾਟ ਵਿਲ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਟੂ ਹੈਲਪ ਡੀਲ ਵਿਦ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ਼ੂ Mm-hmm. So as we mentioned earlier in the interview we had already started to deal with the issue by having a town hall during the campaign in July together with Peel Regional Police other organizations and the mayor of Brampton who was also there as well as the residents who were invited to attend from that meeting we very much so learned that this issue has a couple of things we need to deal with number 1 we need to make sure we hire more community police officers not just you know police officers in general but police officers who are very much so engaged in the community those police officers who are on their bikes riding the neighborhoods who are part of the community to understand what is really going on in our neighborhoods and the other thing is making sure we have enough support programs for our young people so before we had that town hall we invited we were invited to talk to 25 young people because when we talk about crime in Brampton the issue around youth and youth violence always comes up and so we thought it's important to talk to our young people and so we did and what they told us is that they need more support they need more mentors role models and they need to make sure that they have the job opportunities that will keep them off the streets and into things that are more productive for the city and as another example when you ask what we will be doing if we are elected let us tell you what we have done even before because here in the city of Brampton we used to have an organization called mm-hmm. Brampton Safe City and this council decided to remove the funding for that organization it did so many things to help Brampton residents have safer communities we knew that the day that Safe City was discontinued and closed its doors that we were going to have challenges here in the city. So we took the initiative and working with other people, we created a new neighborhood watch program here in the city. It's called Neighborhood Watch Brampton. It is currently rolling out to more than 60 communities across the city. And this was a program that we knew from our engagement with residents that they wanted to see continuing. And so even though the city of Brampton wasn't willing to support Brampton Safe City, we using our resources and our efforts made sure that neighborhood watch continued to exist in the city of Brampton and we're very proud of that and that's just one way that we are already doing things for the people of the city bilkul ji jive brampton de vich gal kariye te ithe security di samasya is karke hoi kyunki ithe crime rate jada vad reya din ba din tusi roz akhbaran de vich tv de vich radio de upar lagatar sunde ho ਕਿ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਏਸੀਸੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੋਲੀਬਾਰੀ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਫਾਇਰਿੰਗ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਏਸੀਸੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਫਾਇਰਿੰਗ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਲੋਕ ਮਾਰੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਜੇ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰੀਏ ਤਾਂ ਅਜੇ ਸਾਲ ਪੂਰਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਤੱਕ ਇੰਨੀਆਂ ਹੱਤਿਆਵਾਂ ਇੰਨੇ ਮਰਡਰ ਹੋ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਆ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਪੂਰੇ ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਏ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਠੀਕ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਪੌਲ ਤੇ ਰਵੇਨਾ ਨੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਨਫਰੀ ਉਹ ਵਧਾਉਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਹੋਰ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਆਫੀਸਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੌਬ ਤੇ ਲਿਆਉਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਯੂਥ ਨੌਜਵਾਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਗਰੂਕ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਵੀ ਜੇ ਪੌਲ ਤੇ ਰਵੇਨਾ ਜੇ ਜਿੱਤ ਕੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨਗੇ uh high property taxes are also a major issue yes so you say the people speak about this to uh, you to at every door so what kind of decision will you make to make a difference in this area mm-hmm. well when people talk to us at the door about uh high property taxes they also tend to mention traffic and gridlock and both of these problems are uh symptoms of the fact that here in the city of Brampton we don't have enough jobs you see the costs of running the city of Brampton are borne by the taxpayers and predominantly here in Brampton we are a sleeping community we are mostly residential and so what that means is that more than 70% of the cost of maintaining and operating the city of Brampton is covered by residential ratepayers if we were like other cities with a greater proportion of commercial businesses located here in the city uh they pay taxes also and so if they were contributing to the overall uh income of the city of Brampton that would mean that us homeowners wouldn't have to pay as much as we are right now and so the city is out of balance and so if we want to 
offer to the city, to the residents of this city, uh, rates that are not increasing as quickly as they have. Just in the past five years, the city portion of your tax bill has increased 29%. So if we want to solve that, we need to really look at economic development. We need to slow down the residential, and perhaps we can still do residential in places that are already developed, but we need to make sure that our remaining employment lands are saved for job purposes. We need to be actively pursuing, going after enticing companies to come to Brampton, to bring jobs to Brampton. And also, it's important, in the, if we do that, we are asking these corporations and these companies to ensure that they are hiring locally. And that is something that is within the purview of the city of Brampton. It's not that we create the jobs, it's that we create the place where jobs can exist. Mm -hmm. So the um, mix of the revenue for the city to pay for everything is off balance. The burden is mostly on the residential taxpayers to pay the bill because for many, many years we've been building houses and we've been forfeiting our employment lands to build more houses. And that is unsustainable because we're going to keep paying higher and higher property taxes as residential taxpayers. When you bring more business to Brampton, you create more jobs. And when you create more jobs, there's more economic sort of stimulation in the economy. And also, the businesses pay commercial property tax. So you rebalance the tax structure and relieve the burden from the residential property taxpayer. बिल्कुल जी इन्होंने आख्या कि जी वही एक समस्या जी है कि जॉब्स जड़िया ने नवी जॉब्स जड़िया ने लिया की जरूरत है इस वक्त ब्रैमटन के लोगों को इंपलॉयमेंट व् मिल सके रोज़गार मिल सके जो बोझ आर्थिक बोझ लोगों के उपर टैक्सा रूप में पैदा वो जरा वंडिया जा सके बड़े वजिया ढंग एक्सप्लेन किया पॉल ने रवेना ने Ryerson University uh, is announced to come to Brampton. What are your opinion uh, on the university, and uh, how will its introduction uh, affect Brampton? Well, we uh, were very fortunate to meet with the president of Ryerson University through Stand Up for Brampton back in April. Yes, and uh, Dr. Lashemi. And what he, that was such an amazing meeting. He shared with us the vision of Ryerson, and we were incredibly inspired by it. Um, they are taking a community approach to coming to Brampton and setting up in the downtown core. It's going to bring more arts and culture to the city. It is going to bring more economic development into the city. And it's going to be a place, perhaps, where our kids, my son and Paul's son, can go to university. And we have been waiting for that opportunity. Opportunity in Brampton for a long time, and we are excited. Yes, and Ryerson University coming to Brampton is going to have long term, deep, profound economic effects. Uh, do not be concerned about the fact that they are just starting in one location in Brampton with 2,000 students or whatever number they decide to begin with. Ryerson University is one of Canada's most applied to universities. And they have 45,000 students now attending in Toronto. Ryerson sees Brampton as their next big expansion. So they will begin with one building. And Dr. Lashemi told us that if you, we give him 20, 30 years, he will eventually build out a major campus throughout Brampton and he will build Ryerson buildings wherever he can find the space. And that is a tremendous story for the city of Brampton. So I, we want you to know that Ryerson coming to Brampton is a positive story. It is one of the best stories mm -hmm. that we have seen happen in this city in a very, very long time. And we wholeheartedly support it and we want to see it succeed. It's definitely a game changer, that's for sure. For sure. And it, it's not a satellite university, it's going to be much bigger than that. Okay. Ryerson University, which is Brampton, is a positive thing that it's a positive thing that it's Brampton. 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 
ਪੌਲ ਤੇ ਰਵੈਨਾ ਵਾਰਡ 1 ਤੇ 5 ਤੋਂ ਸਿਟੀ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰ ਤੇ ਰੀਜਨਲ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰ ਦੀ ਚੋਣ ਲੜ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਂਝੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਸਹਿਮਤ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੋਟ ਕਰਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਇਹ ਫੈਸਲਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਟੀਵੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦਾ ਜਾਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਉਮੀਦਵਾਰ ਦਾ ਸਮਰਥਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਿਰਫ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੱਕ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਵਾਉਂਦੇ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਫੈਸਲਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਥੈਂਕਸ ਪੌਲ ਐਂਡ ਰੋਨਾ ਟੂ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਅਸ ਇਨ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਵਾਂਗਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੋਰ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਤਦ ਤੱਕ ਲਈ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਅਵਨੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਤੇਜਾ ਨੂੰ ਦਿਓ ਇਜਾਜ਼ਤ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਰਹੋ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਟੀਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਹੁਣ ਹਰ ਰੋਜ਼ ਆਪਣੇ ਫੇਵਰਿਟ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਦੇਖਣ ਲਈ ਹੋਵੇਗੀ ਭੱਜ ਨੱਠ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਬ੍ਰਿਟ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਨੇ ਮਿਲਾ ਲਏ ਨੇ ਹੱਥ ਹਰ ਰੋਜ਼ ਦੇਖੋ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਟੀਵੀ ਦੇ ਹਿੱਟ ਸ਼ੋਅਸ ਹੁਣ ਬ੍ਰਿਟ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਟੀਵੀ ਤੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੀਆਂ ਖਬਰਾਂ ਲਈ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਸਵੇਰੇ 7 ਵਜੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਵੂਮਨ ਬੇਸਡ ਔਨ ਵੂਮਨਸ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ ਸਵੇਰੇ 7:30 ਵਜੇ ਕਲਚਰਲ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਵਿਦ 뮤직 ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਸਵੇਰੇ 8 ਵਜੇ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ ਲਈ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਚਰਚਾ ਤੇ ਐਂਟਰਟੇਨਮੈਂਟ ਲਈ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਸਵੇਰੇ 9 ਵਜੇ ਬੇਸਡ ਔਨ ਡੇਲੀ ਕਰੰਟ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਕਲ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਫੋਕਸ ਸ਼ਾਮ 5 ਵਜੇ ਜੱਜ ਦਾ ਵਿਚਾਰ 뮤지컬 ਕਾਮੇਡੀ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਐਂਡ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊਜ਼ ਵਿਦ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਸਟਾਰਸ ਸ਼ਾਮ 6 ਵਜੇ ਬੇਤੜਕ ਤੇ ਪੱਖਪਾਤ ਰਹਿਤ ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਪੱਤਰਕਾਰ ਜਤਿੰਦਰ ਪੰਨੂ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਡਿਸਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੇਖੋ ਸ਼ਾਮ 7 ਵਜੇ ਤੇ ਕੀ ਰਿਹਾ ਅਖਬਾਰਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੁਰਖੀਆਂ ਚ ਦੱਸਣਗੇ ਸਵਰਨ ਟੈਣਾ ਖਬਰ ਦੀ ਖਬਰ ਸ਼ਾਮ 7:30 ਵਜੇ ਸੋ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਕਰੀਬ ਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਚ ਵਸਦੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਟੀਵੀ ਸੈਟਸ ਤੇ ਸਕਾਈ ਟੀਵੀ ਚੈਨਲ 743 ਵਰਜਨ ਟੀਵੀ ਚੈਨਲ 840 ਫ੍ਰੀ ਵਿਊ ਚੈਨਲ ਨੰਬਰ 264 ਤੇ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਆ ਟੀਵੀ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਟੀਵੀ